Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. And this is the beginning of my new office. Uh, I'm not really ready yet. There's stuff all over, but what we're talking about tonight is two-factor authentication when you SSH into your Ubuntu server, right? So with uh, Ubuntu, we can set up two-factor authentication. We're gonna use Authy to do that. You can also use Google Authenticator, but as an added layer of protection, we can enable two-factor authentication for your Ubuntu server. Now, I'm going to configure this on my server internally. I do have a server, you're gonna see it. Uh, and I do run security scans from the server. So even though it's never open to the outside, I want to enable a greater layer of security inside my own network. So we are gonna set that up. So let's head on over to the computer and get that going. All right, so here we are. We're over at the tutorials.ubuntu.com site and they are gonna provide the instructions on how we're gonna do this. So this is not something that I made up. It's something that they provide and they tell you what two-factor authentication is, and then they also tell you what you'll need. And what I really love about this is um, they say what you'll need is you should understand the danger of stolen passwords, and you don't need to know what two-factor authentication is and how it works. So they can just walk you through this. Um, you'll also need a phone running Android or iOS. You need an SSH connection to your... Ubuntu box and you need to be running Ubuntu 16.04 LTS or above for this to work. So we're going to go to the next page here and this is going to tell us how to install all of the required packages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my command line and I am going to SSH into uh, that box that I was telling you about. And you'll see this box is called uh, Holmes. So um, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to copy and paste right from this because the odds of me typing something wrong at that point uh, are slim. They're slimmer. Not saying that I still can't screw up. It happens occasionally. So you can see the server installing all the goodies here. And then what we've got to do is we've got to go to the Etsy Pam.d and we've got to do a uh, sudo nano SSH D. And then what we've got to do is we have to add this line. So, and we'll just, we'll uh, go down here to the bottom and we'll do a comment and we'll say, you know, uh, Google auth Pam SSH. And then we'll paste that. And now we need to restart SSH. So we did that. Then we need to modify the Etsy SSH SSHD config. Um, so we'll do sudo nano SSHD config. And then we're looking for the challenge response authentication. So we'll do a control W and we'll search for challenge response and here we're going to say yes we save that and exit all right so let's go to the next you know what was that uh, commented out now that i say that um okay so that was not that was not commented out all right, so now the next thing we need to do in the terminal is we are going to run the Google Authenticator 
and it is going to ask a series of questions and this is the recommended they provide the recommended configuration here and then what's going to happen is we're going to have a giant QR code apparently appear so we're going to take take a look at that now I will let you know that I'm going to undo this configuration and redo it since you're going to see this because you're going to see some emergency keys and things like that and I really don't want you to have those so I will undo this after I do it and and change the uh, change the setup so now what I'm going to do is I am going to run the Google Authenticator. Do we want to authenticate tokens to be time-based? We'll say yes. All right, so here is um, the giant um, QR code that they uh, that were they're talking about, and that thing is really is giant right so we're gonna whoo all right let's finish this and then um, we'll finish these and we'll come back and we'll scan this QR code and then there are those emergency scratch codes do we want to update a Google Authenticator we're gonna say yes um, do you want to disallow multiple uses of the same token yes do you want to uh, enable rate limiting yes okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and now I'm gonna open Authy on my phone so I've got Authy and I've I am at the ad account I don't know how well that's showing up but I'm at the ad account so I'm gonna scan the QR code so I'm gonna hit scan QR code and I just scanned uh, the screen and it comes up and it says W how at Holmes and so then I'm gonna hit done and now you can see um, you can see on here that I have two-factor authentication for um, for that account so now what we're gonna do let's see um, we're gonna go over here okay so this part walks you through adding it to um, Google Authenticator, I used Authy. If you're using Google Authenticator, follow these instructions, or if you understand how two-factor authentication works, you can go ahead and do that, and then there's a getting help screen. So now let's see if this works. So let's, uh, we'll exit. We're gonna... Okay, so we've got everything set up. We've got our, um, we've got our two-factor authentication in Authy. So now we're going to do SSH and I'm going to put in my password and now you're going to see it's asking for the verification code. So I'm going to put in 599204 and now I am logged in. So now I have two-factor authentication enabled. I could also be using this um, likely with certificates. So that's it that it's uh, you just follow these these few steps uh, less than 10 minutes and you'll be up and running with two-factor authentication on your Ubuntu SSH all right that's it for this video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you need IT consulting go to willyhow.com fill out that contact form and someone will contact you as soon as possible if we can't help you we'll get you to somebody who can that's our promise to you if you'd like to talk to us on discord the link is down below if you'd like to become a patron on patreon to support the channel and thank you to those folks that link is also down below and if you'd like to buy any of the gear you see here on the channel i do have my amazon shop link down below doesn't change your price but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep the gear rolling in once again i want to thank each and every one of you and i really do from the bottom of my heart appreciate you and as always i'll see you in the next video